Fight the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Fight the name of Jesus Christ. Fight the name of Jesus Christ. Your legs. Fight the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. In the name of Jesus. Your head. Fight the name of Jesus Christ. Fight the name of Jesus Christ. Who are you in the name of Jesus? My husband. So what have you done to her? She's going to get married. She belongs to me. Marie so what have you done in her life? Her career? Stagnation. Promise and feel. Disappointment. Okay. Unhappiness. Sadness. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. All over your body. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. Deception. In the name of Jesus. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. In the name of Jesus. Your crown. In the name of Jesus. Your rings. In the name of Jesus. Your chain. In the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. All your contacts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remove them in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Your chains. In the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Your rings. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Your crown. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, because of deception. Thank you, Lord. All your contacts, remove them in the name of Jesus Christ. Your afflictions. Observe, observe, the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The manifestation of the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Observe the manifestation of the Spirit in the world. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Esposo Spiritual. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body in the name of Jesus. Now move out in the name of Jesus Christ. Move out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be free. In Jesus' mighty name. Stand up, you are free. Gracias, Jesús. Esta mujer ha sido declarada. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. Thank you, Jesus. And that was how she received that deliverance. Can we give Jesus a clap offering? Some of them, you're very welcome in Jesus' name. Can you tell us your name and share with us your wonderful testimony? My name is Kense. I'm from Lagos. Um, I was delivered the last week of family, idol, and spiritual husband. Spiritual husband. So... Um, you know, in my family, we have this tendency. The females don't settle down. They find it difficult settling down with a man. Then the ones that finally settle down, they have, you know, issues. It doesn't always work out. Then the men, they settle down. They don't have issues financially. They settle down, but they have marital issues. So the women is not settling down, or then the men settling down and not finding it easy in their marriage. Uh, along the line, as I grew older, when I was much younger, I didn't really understand the effects of the spiritual husband. But as I grew older, after my tertiary education, um, I began to notice certain things, things that people would do in a short space of time. I would take a longer time to achieve mine. I will have to, you know, work out at tea, pray, do extra. It was always very difficult. Things were stagnant, didn't move at the right pace. And I noticed that when I dream, I kind of a strange man has intercourse with me in the dream. I don't really get to see a face, but it happens often. And afterwards, that has made me um, stagnant in some things in life, in my workplace. I don't get promotion. Then I feel very, very weak, like drained a lot of the times. And sometimes I pass out, like an incident, I passed out on the road. I wasn't sick. Nothing happened. Just like I just felt dizzy and just passed out on the road. It happened like two, three times. I went to the hospital and the doctor said, you're not anemic, there's nothing wrong with you health-wise. Just treated for, just said malaria, but that was not, I, I just realized something else was the cause. Then along the line, all these things were happening. I was always very weak. I wasn't sick, but I just felt sad. Always had this heaviness inside of me, always. Even when everybody was excited, I always kept to myself, always so sad. So my mom advised that I come and I needed to pray deliverance. So I came here. Then when the man of God, sorry, the, the evangelist was coming towards where I was, I opened my eyes. 
Then I heard this sound. I was saying, make sure you don't fall, make sure you don't fall. So when he was coming close, I closed my eyes. Like something just forced my eyes close. So I closed my eyes. Then I felt this vibration from the from my feet all the way up. I was just shaking and I screamed and um, just that was the last I remembered. Then after everything, I, I the issue that the same thing that played out when the spirit spoke was the same thing. Over the years, I've been told in several places I've gone to for solutions. They will ask you to bring money. They want to take away the spiritual husband. They want to carry it to the river. But I ended up not going because I felt like if I'm going to be delivered, I don't have to pay. I don't have to go to any river and stuff. So when I came to church and it happened and I was grateful to God that I was delivered. Also, along the line, I also at some point I felt kind of depressed. I had suicidal thoughts. Like I was just tired. I resigned from my job. A lot of things were happening. I felt like there was no reason to live anymore, you know. So after the prayers last week, I, f- I felt this relief. I can't really place. I felt a relief. Like there was this burden that just lifted. I felt so light, energetic. When I got back from church, I was cooking. I was doing other things. Like I wasn't tired despite the fact that you know, I was here all through. Normally, I would feel very weak when I got back. But I was very energetic. I was excited inside. I couldn't explain it. And I've not had any of those dreams. But along the, during the week, I had a dream. Now, this supposed strange man came and was about to come to me again. Then I just realized that, no, this can't happen again. I just said to myself, no, I won't allow it. I don't want. So I woke up and I was like, oh, thank God. Ever since then, I've not had such dreams. I've had this peace. And I've had happiness in my heart. And I thank God. Let's put our hands louder for the miracle walk in God. So, madam, with what God Almighty has done for you, what word of advice do you have for viewers all over the world watching you right now? Okay, my advice for viewers all over the world is to hold on to God. When God does something for you, it's to draw you closer to him, to have a relationship with him. Don't be distant. When you have an issue or a problem, Come to God with it and it's surely going to deliver you in Jesus' name. Amen. Nous venons d'entendre le témoignage de Madame Kense du Nigeria. Elle dit qu'elle a reçu sa délivrance de leader de famille et le mari spirituel. Elle dit que ses esprits impurs ont affecté sa vie, ses études et même sa carrière. Elle avait des difficultés à avoir de relations stables avec les hommes. Elle dit qu'elle était toujours malade, mais les docteurs n'ont pas trouvé d'anomalie dans son corps. Elle dit que voilà, elle était toujours triste. Elle est partie dans plusieurs endroits à la recherche de solutions. Elle a même dépensé beaucoup d'argent et payé des personnes afin d'expulser le mari spirituel, mais en vain. Elle dit qu'elle voulait même y mettre fin. C'est là qu'on l'a encouragé à venir ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Elle a reçu la prière au nom de Jésus-Christ. Elle dit qu'après avoir reçu sa prière, elle a vu un changement immédiat. Elle dit qu'elle ne fait plus de cauchemars. Maintenant, elle a la paix intérieure, plus de régression. Elle est toute contente d'être déclarée libre au nom de Jésus-Christ. Elle vous encourage tous les spectateurs en disant « Tenez ferme à Dieu ». Escuchamos el testimonio de Kense, ella nos comenta que recibió su liberación de un esposo espiritual e ídolo en la familia. Nos comenta que ella tenía diferentes ataques espirituales en los sueños que afectaban su vida diaria. Ella llegó a tener pensamientos suicidas hasta que llegó aquí a la arena de la libertad, donde el evangelista oró por ella y recibió su liberación, así como vemos en pantalla, de este ídolo en la familia, de este esposo espiritual. Damos toda la gloria a Jesucristo por este maravilloso milagro.